300 years ago, a surgeon was writing an angry letter to his colleague, who had placed vertical mattress sutures in such a way that they were now impossible to remove. But as he finished the letter and was about to put down his quill, he had an idea. After thoroughly destroying his quill and disinfecting the tiny pieces, he placed them through the loops of suture and found that by distributing the tension along a larger surface area, the suture did not dig into the skin under high tensions, which both protected the skin from dying and made it easy to remove the stitches. Then in the 1800s, buttons started to replace quills. As quills don't have an even diameter throughout their length, so the suture can loosen if the quill slips. Buttons, on the other hand, are fixed in place and can't move around in any direction, but still make the suture very easy to remove. Nowadays, the plastic tubing used for IV lines has replaced the buttons. These plastic tubes have the advantage that they can be cut to the exact length of the wound. Although the evolution of the suture technique shows the unfortunate reality of how plastic is dominating the medical field, resulting in enormous quantities of waste. So maybe sometimes we should go back to using these ancient techniques that produce no waste.